me this It's always very sad and shocking to see a house of worship on fire. Because you think of the greatness of this synagogue in its day, to see it now uh, being destroyed. It's heartbreaking. Uh, I remember those parents, I remember when I came to New York, this was one of the premier congregations. It's been empty for a while, but still, it still retains that house of worship aura. So, uh, it's a sad moment for everyone. Now, is there any word of the cause? No, it's under investigation at the present time. Thankfully, uh, no tollers were inside. What I find so gratifying is to come here, I find if I most of them are Christians. Immediately ask, are there any safety tollers there? They will risk their lives to save the Sukhoi Torah. That says a lot about their commitment to the Jewish community and to the preservation of all that is holy. Is this fire suspicious? We're Thanks. letting the marshals determine. Okay, and how many firefighters were on scene? Approximately 30 pieces of apparatus, so you're figuring somewhere in the area of around 50 firefighters. Okay. Do the rub of the shul? Okay. How many years has the shul been around? Since 18. Okay, and how many years is it vacant? About six years. About six years, okay. Do you know what started this fire? Does anybody know? We, our suspicion is that in the last couple of weeks we had an issue with kids, teenage kids. They used to climb into the fire escape, they used to do drugs there, and some, they used to smoke there. Uh -huh. And we called the cops last week, there was a small fire. We called the fire department came. And obviously, what's, that's that's our suspicion. That that was, uh, okay. Um, now, are there any security cameras on on the show? Our end, the CPC had some security. The neighbor from our right side, left side, they do have some. Okay. So, do you do you know if the police have those cameras yet, or they're going to? You don't know. Okay. No, they spoke with them. They spoke. Uh, okay. And uh, now, when you got here, what did you see? I didn't saw the flames ready. I got called from the council that the uh, building was on fire, and I immediately grabbed everything and came up over the line. Now, what was the goal of this uh, show? Was it to be used once again? Were you going to renovate this? The goal was to be in the middle of dealing a way to renovate the show. It is a landmark building, and we want it. In the middle of dealing with uh, the neighboring CPC to the city's intervention, we try together to renovate the building and make some still use out of the shul. Okay. And was there insurance on the shul? Not a liability there was. Um, the FDNY spoke to you? They spoke to me and they. First asked, of course, if there's any, if I assume there could be any people people in there, so of course no. 
not, not that we know of, the building is closed. And everyone was telling me how concerned the fire department was about the possible Torah scrolls inside. Did they Very, ask you about they that? They asked me if I'm sure there's not any scrolls or any holy books. And thankfully it's out for many years. When we closed off the building because of the vacant order, we took out all, all holy books, all the scrolls. So the fire department was willing to Very risk their lives to save Torah correct. scrolls. This was the first concern, if there's any lives or any holy scrolls in there. How does that make you feel about the fire department? They're ready to give their life, not only for people, but only even for the religious and for holy things for other people, religious also. And I'm very thankful, hopefully, that we don't know yet what's going to be with the building. The, the, the way they, they're coming and with the, with the, with the warm and how, how they, they, they're dealing with this whole painful issue to us, how, they, how professional and warm they're dealing with us. I'd like to really stress it out.